Hello and welcome all. Today we are going to look at we have studied the property of the inductor is that the inductor does not want to change its current. Whenever the, the, the there is a change in current, the inductor will oppose it. Is that correct? This is an inductor and we have applying an input voltage of Vn and there is a transistor to switch on and off it and there is a diode is connected to this that means when the switch is on the current is flowing through the inductor and when the switch is off the inductor will be free wheeling through this when the transistor is on the current is flowing through the inductor and and at that time this is positive voltage so and this is ground so the diode will be reverse bias so there will be no current flowing through the diode when the transistor is off the polarity of the inductor will is reversed that means it becomes negative and become positive so the diode is conducting in order to have a freewheeling path when the transistor is off we are connecting the diode that means when the transistor is off the polarity of the inductor becomes reversed that means this point become negative and this point become positive and the current is running through this when the transistor is on the polarity is this term positive and this term negative and when it's switched off the polarity will be reversed that it will be negative and it will be become positive now we are going to check whether the inductor has really the property of opposing any change in current so when the switch is on the current is flowing through the circuit and the when the transistor is off the current is freewheeling through this diode so we will check now when the switch is turned off let's say the diode has a voltage drop of 0.5 volt that means the inductor has to spend 0.5 volt that means each electron the going through the uh, diode has to spend 0.5 volt so the energy required by the inductor to flow a current of 3 ampere let's say the current is 3 ampere F flow a current of 3 ampere is 0.5 into 3 that means 1.5 joule if 1.5 joule is stored in the inductor it can run a max uh, peak current of 3 ampere in the circuit now we will check the same case if we connected a resistor or in series with the inductor now the voltage drop has become 0.5 and the resistor has a voltage drop of 0.25 so the total drop will be 0.75 and that we have on the transistor and the energy stored by the transistor is same because it is on for the same time the on time is same so the energy stored in the inductor is the same and when the transistor is switched off the energy stored in the inductor is 1.5 joule and now the inductor has to spend 0.5 plus 0.25 that means total of 0.75 joule to go through this now what will the inductor do the inductor has on for the same time and the energy stored in the inductor is 1.5 joule and now the inductor has to drop to spend 1.5 0.75 volt to for each electron to flow through the inductor earlier it was 0.5 only 0.5 volt of energy is required by the inductor to flow a elec one electron now it has become 0 0.5 0 0.75 volt so now we check the current that means the current will be energy is from 1.5 joule and now the voltage become 0 0.75 each electron has to possess 0 0.75 volt so the ampere will reduce to 2 ampere that means if we connect a resistor in this circuit the peak value of the 
current will be reduced to 2 ampere earlier it was 3 ampere that means the inductor does not have the property of opposing any change in current actually it, what is it it is doing is that it is opposing the change in energy that means the inductor wants to keep the energy same that means it wants one when the time of switching on the transistor the energy was 1.5 joule the resistor and diode 1.75 volt so 0.75 volt into 2 ampere means point at the instant of turning on the transistor then the energy was 1.5 joule so the property of the inductor is that it wants to be in the same energy here the voltage is 0.5 volt so the current will be high here it has to oppose more voltage that means each, each electron has to possess more voltage so the property of the inductor thus it wants to be in the same energy not wants to be in the same current but wants to be in the same energy